Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the UPSC application which was opened on 4th March, it will be ending uh, on the 24th, that is 3 days from now. You can fill on 22nd, 23rd or 24th uh, by 6 p.m. And then after that it will be closed. Okay, sometimes UPSC extends it by, by one week and all. But uh, don't uh, wait in that expectation. Okay, you have to fill it. In case of your certificate issues or whatever you have, still you have to apply and keep. So that in case later any updation has to be done also, you can do it. Okay, but don't keep it for a fresh registration after the 24th. So uh, I'll take you through the entire thing uh, with screenshots and the pages of all the pages. Okay, including your payment or your uploading photograph, all the things which is the process you have to follow. I will show you. Okay, so this video is made so that uh, in future batches also I can share the same video. Okay, so it will be detailed. And... Uh, this is the video, the thumbnail of the previous video, where I explained vacancies, syllabus, fees, how to apply, all the basics was already explained, okay. And in the foundation video series also, where the notification walkthrough was done, in that also, this was discussed. So I will not be uh, discussing the very like basic things, because you have to watch that video. The notification was expected on February 10, but it came on March 4th, because the Supreme Court verdict was there about the uh, uh, extra attempt for the 2020 aspirants but uh, finally the verdict was against it and uh, there will be no extra attempt okay if your age is done it is done if your attempt is done it is done there is no extra attempt other than what is ideally there for you as per your reservations or any other uh, minority status or anything okay so the prelims date will be June 27 2021 and the mains will be around September mid and then uh, you will have the interview um, in around February March and then by April your result should come that should be the uh, rough timeline okay detailed dates will come later in the UPSC website and uh, to suit this uh, we have uh, done the test marathon kind of timetable uh, in 120 days March 1 to June 26 where uh, through entire uh, uh, test series format you will cover the full syllabus okay so more details are there in other videos so I don't want to waste time here so it's a four months plan and these are subject wise packages also which many students are buying it now because they know that if you don't solve proper test you will not clear this exam so whichever you are weak in try to get those subjects this is the website upsconline.nic.in you have to go here okay not the other one the other one is upsc.gov.in where all the advertisements and everything come and it's, it's like the main official website but for exam application you have always uh, been given this link okay you, this will be anyway redirected when uh, when you go to upsc.gov.in but uh, directly also you can come to this uh, website and here online application for various examination uh, this is the place where you have to come okay even your admit card and all later will come here if you see here e-admit cards now it will be not there but later it will come before two weeks before the exam then when you click on that, you will get uh, this page, okay, a main menu. In this, uh, this uh, preliminary examination, which is including the forest service exam, it's given 4th to 24th, 6 p.m. And part 1, part 2, both you have to do, only then your registration is considered complete, okay. And here, uh, everyday new news scrolling things also will be there. Like here, like for EW's category, the certificate which you need and all something they have given. If you click on this, uh, they will show you what is needed or how you need to get that certificate. And uh, for uh, disabled T people also, there is a link like that maybe next day will be there for obc or general category there'll be something here okay so always click on such links which is crawling and which is going like flash news kind of thing because it is given for you only then here if you see application uh, sorry applicants should note that there will be a ceiling on the number of candidates allotted to each of the centers except chennai dispute kolkata and nagpur so other than this like if you give to hyderabad or bangalore or uh, mumbai there's a chance that if you apply late the centers may get filled and then you will get something outside the city okay or in case you get in the city which you want also it will be in the outskirts like uh, it's not the proper town or something you have to go at least two three hours again from the town area and that will be difficult for you to travel on that day, that day okay so see to it that you have already applied by now that is good but in case not done do it tomorrow itself don't wait till the 24th because the later you do later uh, sorry the center will be either far or outside the city okay so when you click on the EWS, actually this is what they have given it's about uh, the uh, income certificate or whatever certificate you need should be prior to this date and the uh, authorities who can issue such a certificate is also given here list is given then it should be for the financial year 2019-20 okay some students ask me like if it's 2021 is it valid so i think that should be valid because that is even latest than this okay this is asked only so that the authority upsc knows that you are falling under ews category you are eligible for the reservation so if it's after this obviously they should uh, allow it okay so don't just uh, I think like you have to get this financial year exactly okay if it's the latest than this also it should be allowed as per uh, what we think okay so the format is also given here like what format certificate you need so this is about that hyperlink and the disability link i did not click so i don't know what is there inside this uh, whoever is uh, needing that should see okay so this is actually the second page i'll uh, first uh, take you through the 
original website itself okay till now you saw screenshots so if you see here i'll click on this and we'll click on here part one and then you will get a instructions page okay so instruction you have to read okay you have to read full that's the first instruction you have to read everything fully uh, online submission should be done through this website this is what i told it will be redirected anyway okay then if you go down the dates are given before 24 or 3 6 pm you have to do and it's given in bolded letters also so please uh, don't tell you didn't see this then uh, it's available in english and hindi but you have to fill in english only okay then two parts are there part one where your basic information is taken and after that you will get a registration id with which you can log in and then again do the part two registration and uh, then here payment details the photographs all these things will be there i'll take you to every page okay every page with screenshots i have taken so it will be very clear to you and you can confirm also if you already applied also you can confirm whether you did everything correctly okay so this is the timeline again then you have finally i agree button and all is there uh, registration number will be generated these are like very basic anyway i'll show you the pages then the uh, resolution of photographs and all again i'll show you in detail full instructions i'll show you uh, then other card also whichever id card you have that in pdf format you need that also i'll show you then um, uh, okay this is again the same thing then uh, uh, payment okay you can do through any format not like you have uh, earlier it was like you only sbi can be done or you have to directly go to the bank nothing like that now if you have any debit card or credit card you can do the payment okay it doesn't matter if it's sbi or not then uh, offline payment again they have given some instructions and sbi portal they have given something so these are all very very basic payment related and the same which, which anybody can do okay there's nothing there. but there is this thing which you should know no change will be allowed in details like center of examination optional subject medium of examination compulsory indian language and uh, center for both prelims means everything okay don't think like after your prelims you can change it now itself you have to select what optional you will do where you will write the mains exam and where you will write the prelims exam in what language you will write the exam which is the uh, extra additional language paper you are selecting everything you have to select now itself whether you clear prelims or not they that doesn't matter upsc has to keep things ready for uh, students who clear so they ask all these details in the starting itself okay and later you cannot change please don't ask again like whether it can be changed it cannot be changed it's clearly written in black bold letters okay and this paper a okay paper a uh, language paper for which i have already made a detailed video uh, here it's given okay for, for benchmark disability people it's not required same like that if you are some i think uh, uh, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh and some states you don't have to uh, do that paper okay you have that paper be English paper that is enough but you don't have to do any language paper that also in the form is there I'll show you in the form and then uh, you have to upload the photo identity card and you have to carry that in the examination hall okay the original not like you have like a tested copy or photocopy you have to take the original thing from which you are uh, filling the details now use the other card because that is what is accepted everywhere nowadays okay so after everything you will get a message and email both so it will be confirmed that you are uh, registration is complete then again disability related something is there after all this is done again important detailed instructions there which you can again click uh, that uh, i'll show you a little bit later okay or uh, maybe i'll open it and keep so here uh, detailed instructions will be given but uh, when admit card comes again uh, such things are given okay whatever will be required for your exam and such things are there and here you have to click yes okay after you have read through the entire instruction process as I told, I'm doing it very slow step by step so that this video can be used again as part of your foundational course. Okay, so this is how the part one will look like. And if you see different tabs are there, part one registration, payment, uh, photo, sign identity card, and finally the center selection and agreeing to declaration. Okay, so here if you see, if you scroll down, name, gender, date of birth, father's name, mother's name, these things, nobody will have any confusion. Nationality, marital status, uh, then uh, when a disabled T you have or not. And community here is where people have problem ews general obc scst different things are given so whatever you select other than general they will ask for your certificate details also so for example if you take obc immediately another thing will come whether you belong to creamy layer because creamy layer people don't get reservation so here you have to tell no i am not creamy layer that is non-creamy layer so here they are again given like you will get relaxation in the age and attempt and all and you should produce the income certificate later okay of these three years 2017 18 19 20. so that collecting is later but you should uh, i mean showing it to upsc is later but you have to have these income certificates and based on that only the authority whoever is issuing you the uh, non creamy certificate should issue it they should not simply write a non creamy certificate and give it to you they should verify your these incomes and based on that they should write like okay this person is eligible for central government job this obc thing okay so that you will get it from your uh, this uh, taluk office or that kind of thing okay so you have to contact them and they will uh, tell you what is the procedure and uh, this newly introduced two columns are these two okay last time they asked only the community certificate date meaning which is the issue date because there is a rule like after 24th march if it is issued it will not be valid you have to have it when you are applying for your exam so it should be issued by now okay 
So that date you have to mention here and that will be there. That will be there inside the printed on the this thing like uh, dated this thing. We certify that uh, uh, you are uh, OBC or whatever SCSC, which, whichever certificate you have. Okay, EWS also. So community certificate date was the only thing. But this time they put certificate number and uh, issuing authority name. Maybe that's like for again double verification so that you carry the same document on that day when you go for your mains or interview. Okay, so that is why that community certificate number in OBC and all I think in the left side uh, there will be there. Okay, left side the first thing will be mentioned certificate number. And for SCST I think in the center there will be a heading where it will be written like certificate number something it will be written. So that number is what you have to type here. So it's typing it's not like drop down or something. So whatever is mentioned there please type it and uh, you can carry that same document later so it will be verified okay it should match then this issuing authority as i told it will be written again on the top of the certificate like obviously the state name will be there if it's like government of uh, maharashtra or government of whatever the state name will be there but not that one or government of india that will be there but the office name will be there like this is from this uh, Dal or this is from this taluk office this is from this authority that uh, name you have to write here okay so that is this uh, these three things then minority again if it's a minority religion you know which are the minority religions based on that it will be no means no or yes means yes okay so based on that another column will come so if it's no put this so based on that fee, fee exemption is there that is why okay so if you select yes it will change here select the religion okay so minority religion you have to select and then it will be exempted or not uh, it will come according to that so uh, if you come down now uh, the education qualification again uh, already uh, you have got the degree or you are in the final year okay that one you have to select and then whichever uh, degree it is if it is not there, some people ask like, my, this is a special course, it's not there somewhere, then you have to select others. You have to select others and you can, uh, I think, uh, select here, okay. Which examination, you have to select this, obviously, civil services. Or here, whatever you give, okay, law or already have the degree. Exam, this one, civil services, okay. Like this, you have to select. And this is given, no change is allowed. Then, come down and here address okay your residential address you can put here state district pin code phone number mobile number email and this thing make sure that mobile number and email is a working one and valid one where because this is where all the details will come later so you have to have this correct thing okay this one if you see it's not like mandatory uh, the, the local phone number but your mobile number email and alternate email id you have to give okay so this will be the thing and when you hit continue that is where i'll take you to the presentation where we are uh, showing you the slide by slide so when you do that uh, after the first page uh, what address is this will become yellow color like this and then they will ask for the photo identity card where you have to select this and other or pan card or license everything is allowed but uh, better take the other card then the other uh, card number two times you have to put it or whatever id card two times you have to put it and then your uh, graduation percentage which will be rounded off okay i don't think decimal they allow so uh, put it like uh, 60 or 70 or 65 whatever it is put it here then the number of attempts already made okay already made before this that you have to put it here if it's two attempts three attempts four attempts or if it's zero you can put zero okay not appeared either earlier okay so it's a very simple thing after that below if you see the mains exam things also you have to fill here center for mains exam okay then language medium meaning you will write in the paper mostly i think everyone will write in english but if it's a different one select that language then optional paper okay you can be history geography geology that things will be there in this drop down then uh, uh, optional paper again medium okay that will be same as i think the first this medium only which medium you will be writing don't confuse it with the language paper uh, the other paper or something it's the medium they're asking then do you hail, hail from Arunachal, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim? So here if you select uh, yes means then they will come an option like uh, you don't need to write paper A, uh, it will be English, something like that will be there, okay. But uh, if it's no, then uh, it will simply uh, continue, okay. You have to click on the continue button. Then that is complete. They will tell you are, uh, this thing is there, final verification, verify your application details. So entire details will be here. I did not take the full screenshot of uh, this thing. This is actually uh, one of our students things. So I have masked wherever his uh, details are there. So if you uh, come down, this will be the starting and then full details will be here. I am not shown here. And then the last will be that if you want to update, uh, click on update. Okay, then I think they will allow you to edit. But if there is no update, please don't click on this else everything will go away. Then you have to simply put this uh, CAPTCHA code here and then click on I agree. Okay, that means you are verifying that your part one, whatever you have filled, that entire mains thing, your personal details, your address, graduation, everything is correct and I don't want any change, then click I agree. Okay. So then they'll ask again, once you agree, no changes will be permissible in part one registration of your application and click on OK. Then your final, like a slip, it will come, okay, where everything is there. I have masked the details of the student, registration ID, name, father's name, mother's name, date of birth, address, whatever you filled. And see here, you have completed the part one registration of the online application procedure. You will get a message also. You will get an email also telling the same thing. Okay, so you will be like sure, like, okay, my, this thing is done. Then below that, okay, this is actually the continuity of that. Below that, here it's written, note down the registration ID. It will be required for further this thing. And if you don't do part two, then actually whatever you did till now is like, 
uh, of no use okay only when you do the part two the entire this thing is complete then you have to do this uh, three things one is printing the slip okay the same slip uh, you can print it or save it as a pdf and then print application part one and then you will do the part two okay so uh, these two printing you have to printing means it's just uh, not like paper printing you can do that also or simply when you do save as pdf option will be there so save it as pdf so that you don't need to search again all these uh, things which you already filled okay then after uh, when you click on print they'll ask you this okay because for printing or anything checking again you have to always enter the login with the registration id and date of birth and this captcha code okay so when you submit that they will show you that thing and then you have to come back and then uh, this thing uh, print the this thing print icon will come print the part uh, one thing entire thing and then click on part two registration here when you click on part two registration they'll again ask you the details to log in after logging in this is what will come okay this will be green color now green means it is completed successfully okay now part two for payment page if you are exempted from fee payment or if it's like uh, uh, not a male candidate because uh, for females everybody it's free then uh, i think scst it's free so like that, there are some categories that is free so for them from this green tab it will directly jump to this photo and sign okay this, this payment tab itself won't be there for them but for others uh, general or obc male candidates you have to do this okay through sbi branch or through net banking of sbi or by card anything okay visa master rupee everything is allowed so use whichever option and then uh, uh, pay the fees after you pay the fees this also will become green the payment also will become green and here i have masked again the students details if you see here uh, captured transaction status all the ids and everything will be there successful will be there Pay female event has been successfully completed okay then you have to click on continue when you click on continue you see these two are green now we have reached the third stage third stage is photo sign and photo identity card so here if you see you have to choose the files first in your computer or uh, wherever you are doing okay the this thing choose file of jpj format the scan photograph the scan signature and here if you see this is pdf format the identity card okay your other or whatever that should be scanned and made into a uh, this thing that you can click a photo from your smartphone and then online there will be like a, a jpj to pdf format conversion it will simply convert in one second okay it's not a big thing so make the pdf ready so save everything in a computer folder in your desktop or something and then click on choose file and select it so once you select here they will not show error unless you click on upload image okay after you select selecting will be easy they'll allow you to select 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 and then click on this upload image when you click on this upload image if there is any error it will show okay it will show here in a red color font on the top here like uh, the resolution is not right the size is not right the height and this thing is not matching or the size is uh, over or below okay or format is not correct that kind of different different things will be showing us error if there is no error it will show up another page which i show you at the last but uh, you should know the rules first okay so here if you see they have given with examples also okay it's earlier i think four five years back these things were not there now they have updated it's like every kind of blur image or what can be rejected everything they have shown so you can also uh, confirm like whether your thing is good see these are acceptable photos and acceptable signature but these are non-acceptable okay because it's all blurred you can't even recognize whether it is you or not when you go to the exam hall so examples are given and then here if you see photograph dimension should be 350 into 350 this in online you can do okay if you already have a soft coffee photo online you can do or simply with ms paint paint uh, um, which will be there in your computer open it and then open the photo with that paint option and there itself on the right resize option resolution option will be there click on resize and simply type 350 350 okay height and width they will ask you have to simply type 350 350 and hit enter okay or this in this again there is a section in this uh, form itself where they will show you more details of how to do this okay so uh, so do that with this much uh, pixel this much width uh, and size also is given okay greater than 20 kb but uh, less than 300 kb so it should be a very small file size okay some people will have very high clarity photo and to be like uh, 4 mb 10 mb to, that much size won't be allowed you have to upload the very small photo of this dimension okay so that also resizing one is for resolution one is for resizing both can be done to ms paint also or online you can upload your photo and they will convert it and give it to you back in one second itself okay so signature also if you see the same dimensions are given 350 350 and 300 kb 20 kb okay so it's all same size you have to do so then after that identity card so this also it's given pdf format and digital size should be the same 300 to 20 kb okay in between this gap so all these things are given and samples are given see here more samples are there and below please note your photograph and signature should be properly cropped clear and should not be hazy or Ill uh, eligible then the photograph file uh, should contain your uh, photograph only without any uh, other marks such as uh, signature etc okay then signature file should contain your recent signature only then in case of poor quality it will be rejected okay anything which is poor quality it will be rejected but if it is a uh, good condition and if you uh, what to say apply everything here i have masked the students uh, photo and uh, uh, signature and the id card okay so there's another card if you see here 
So these three things, it will come like this and it will be of very clar high clarity. Okay, don't see this gray part which is there because I have masked it. Okay, uh, in original, it will be very high clarity photo, high clarity signature and high clarity Aadhaar card. It should be all readable. And then uh, uh, if you want to re-upload, here they give you an option to again re-upload also. So you can re-upload whichever you feel it's not good. And after that, below there will be a continue button. And when you do that, this also will become green. Okay, so when you upload, if error is there, it will not even show you that uh, sample which I showed you. This kind of sample will not come if error is there, if size is wrong. But if size is all correct, it will show you a preview like this. That means size is all fine. Now it's only the clarity if you want to change, you can change it again from here. And if you are okay, press continue and you will get these three things as green now. Then last uh, stage is center selection. Okay, so center selection, again your ID card, they are asking one more time. Okay, when you click here, if you see here, uh, red color it is blank okay but if you type the full uh, 12 digit number immediately this will change to a green font and it will tell like your id card is verified okay right? because you have already gave the other card in front right so they will uh, automatically system itself will compare whatever you typed is matching with what you filled in the previous page so it will become green and after that examination center for the prelims okay this is for prelims you have to select this and then you will get the prelim center then after that here below a declaration is there Again, you can read like I declare everything is true, everything like I am liable for whatever I filled. Then here this green one, I have read declaration agree. Just click on this and final, sub this is a final submit, okay. So when you do this final submit, everything is green. And here print uh, options there, click on this and again print it or save it as PDF file. And you don't have to carry any of this print out to the exam hall, but later for any discrepancy, you have to complain anything to UPSC, this will help you. So always have the soft copy saved as PDF and later when you need for anything, print it. But now need not print it, okay, it's not mandatory, simply don't waste that many pages of printing. So this is the entire process of this thing. And after this, you will get an email and message again, okay. So total after your entire application, you will get two messages and two emails, okay, in your registered ones. And that tells first one will be part one complete second one will be part one and part two complete okay like that two messages and two emails you will get so i hope everything is clear and and again obc and uh, this ew certificate don't worry too much whatever is the latest one okay that you have to use but uh, don't use something which is 2017 or 18 because clearly they have given you this much time 20 25 days and that's more than enough to get it but some states i heard from students like uh, election time they are not issuing this there are some problems so still only thing you can do is contact the UPS and ask them what to do because many students have already contacted UPSC in these last many days and they are getting responses also. Okay, if they don't pick up your call, at least send an email. Do something so that it is getting responded and do the needful. Don't do anything wrong and later regret. Without uh, 2021 students, please see to it that you are preparing well. Our test series, everything we have given in uh, subject wise also and package wise also with revision charts, without revision charts, any way you can do and uh, this has to be done. Okay, without uh, test series, you are not going to clear this exam. This is not like any other exam where you do a lot of book studies and you will pass. Nothing from the book is going to come exactly as it is. It will come as per what is taught in the test series or any uh, uh, that kind of uh, le final lectures, okay, where they guide you towards the prelims. So we'll also do a lot of series, but uh, lectures, as I told, Lakshmi Khan series will continue only when we hit that 100 comments or 150 comments as per I told in the last lecture. So please see to it that you do that to get free lectures, else lectures will not be done. Okay, we, we are happy with the students who are uh, doing test series and we are working for them. That is what we are doing at the back end every day. Don't think like uh, there is no other work happening. Whenever there's no lectures at the back end, we are working more and more to improve the test quality of students so that they get the benefit because they are our paid students. Okay. In YouTube, what we are putting is entirely free. So only thing we are asking is your likes, comments and subscriptions. Please do that and free lectures also will continue. You don't have to pay even single rupee for any of our lecture. Okay. So this is the final thing and uh, contact me on WhatsApp if you need any uh, uh, queries answered. But uh, see to it that you don't ask something which is already uh, told in this video, okay, or any other video. So thank you and have a nice day.